In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you three different ways to create grainy textures in Photoshop. Let's start with the first one from the Layers panel. Create a new layer. I'm going to press G on my keyboard and create a gradient just like this. Actually, you can try this with any color you want. You can create a solid color from the adjustments. Choose your preferred color, for example, this one. Press OK, then back to the Layers panel. Right click and rasterize layer and do the same process make sure that the layer is activated then press and hold ctrl command shift a on your keyboard to open camera raw filter from the effects part increase grain until you are happy with the result for example 15 press enter after that make sure that its layer is still activated go to the filter blur and Gaussian blur guys for the radius part don't increase it too much because it gets too blurry and don't decrease it too much something between 0.3 to 0.5 is always fine I'm going with 0.4 then press ok let's take a look at the before after I'm gonna zoom in before after before after let's move to the second one go to the layers panel create a new layer again i'm going to use my gradient just like this from the menu bar filter noise add noise you can increase or decrease amount to get the best results and of course it's too much and it's completely depends on you for me usually something between 3 and 15 is fine i'm going with 10 percent and for the next part we have distribution uniform and gaussian i prefer to use gaussian and also active monochromatic to not get the colorful noises if i deactivate this one let me zoom in just like this and it's obvious I'm gonna active this one and after that press ok Control command zero to fit it on the screen and again go to the filter blur and gaussian blur I'm gonna put it on 0.4 and pressing OK. Let's move to the third one. Go to the layers, create a new layer. I'm gonna make another gradient. Make sure the layer is activated from the menu bar, filter, filter gallery. I'm gonna put it right here. And from texture folder, you can choose grain and change its settings until you get the best result and you're happy with it. And also we have something called grain type you can change it to get different results as you see going to set it to soft regular or anything else and after that press ok and as you see it has colorful noises so we have to remove these colors press and hold ctrl command shift u and again go to the filter blur gaussian blur and press ok you can also use these layers as an overlay textures for example i'm gonna active this one and if i change its blending mode for example to multiply or screen you will get wonderful results for some part of your background or anywhere you prefer you can also use them for text layers for example i have a text layer just right here i'm gonna drag and drop this one right here pressing and hold alt moving my cursor between two layers do a single click and i created a cool looking effect for my text layer with a simple clipping mask even for clipping mask you can change its blending mode for example i'm going from normal to hard light to get different results and create creative effects and that's it if you're interested in photoshop tips and tricks i recommend you to watch these tutorials after this one thanks for watching if you enjoyed this one please do a favor thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for new upcoming videos thank you and good luck